Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever AuthorTube Readathon. Today is day one, it's Saturday, March 24th and uh, I started at 5 a.m. Actually, I read like five pages <laughs> because I just wanted to read a bit before I went to sleep. I stayed up late editing, so um, what you gonna do? I actually woke up early today. I woke up at 9.30 to finish my formatting and stuff and then take the dog out shower, you know, adulting. And uh, right now I'm going out for a bit I need to run this camera actually to my boyfriend who actually owns it and who needs it this weekend. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to come back. I have a few hours of work and then hopefully I'm going to get through Revival Prologue and start on the next book which I think will be Sarah's Suggestion 376 and um, yeah, we'll see how I do at the end of the day. I haven't posted my Instagram challenge yet, but I plan to do that soon. Maybe post a couple of photos. I don't know. Claire Claire was faster than me today. So yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm going to post three vlogs during the AuthorTube Readathon. One will be on Monday for Saturday, Sunday. The next one will be on Wednesday and the final wrap up will be on Friday. So um, I'll keep you updated throughout, but do make sure you follow my social media as well because I'll be posting all week on Instagram. I will also link the channels of all the other author tubers who've helped me out with this readathon. Please make sure you go and give them a visit and see what they're doing this week. And um, yeah, that's it. Now let's insert the clips for this week's vlog, which is a reading vlog, and I'm so happy to be finally doing that. Hello everyone, it's, well, it's almost 5 a.m. on Saturday, March 24th, so the the author tube readathon has officially started, and um, I'm just going to bed now. I had my stream with Sarah from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., and before and after that, I was busy editing, so I didn't get any sleep. And um, I have my um, TBR box here for the readathon, and I'm just going to pop Revival Prologue open and read a few pages before I crash. I assume it won't be a lot, but yeah, have a good night and have a great readathon. I will see you in the morning. everyone it's almost 11 p.m. on Saturday and other than the maybe five pages that I read this morning of, at 5 a.m. I read nothing because the day turned into a bit of a shit show and um, now I'm going to bed and going to read which is great because we're switching to daylight saving so I have one hour less to sleep and I haven't really slept last night but I am now reading um, Revival Prologue by Trinda E. Adair and um, I got like the proper t-shirt for it. Uh, Trinda, I hope you appreciate this. And um, yeah, I'm going to finish this because it's a quick read and then start on the next Charlie Davis mystery. I was going to start on Sarah's story, but I'm not reading that at night. So that will have to wait until tomorrow. Um, I will update you again before I go to bed. Honestly, to tell you how well I'm doing. Aris wants something. Yeah, you want to speak to the people? Yeah. Aris says goodnight. <laughs> uh, I will update you at the end of the evening before I go to bed and tell you how well or how poorly I did. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. It's 11.30. Um, I'm done with revival and now 
it's time for higher learning which is book four in the charlie davis mysteries by the one and only claire Cowder. so um let's do this and see how far i can go till midnight when it's time to sleep bye so of course it's gone past midnight because that always happens when i read the charlie davis mysteries i forget how late it is and i should go to bed um i think i read about five seven percent of the book um i'll make sure to add page numbers for everything i read at the end of the day i don't think i did that great today <laughs> but i got to read which is impressive for how crazy this um this day was and um i'll continue tomorrow the plan is to finish this mystery tomorrow and start on the next one because i have six books to finish and one of them is extremely long so there's that i'd need to finish like two books tomorrow and another two on monday i'm not sure how that's happening but i'm not gonna try Bye. hello lovelies it's the second book of the author tube readathon and um I started on my second book. I didn't make any progress today because I was busy streaming with Claire. And uh, I did my Instagram challenge for today, which was Books and Bunny Ears, the Sarah Sharon Weber challenge. And it took a ridiculous amount of time for me to find an app that puts a bunny ear filter on my photo. But I got it done and I just published it and it's only 2.30 p.m. So I'm done with the challenge for the day. Unlike yesterday, I'm not going to post too because it just takes too much work. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to see what work I can do now and then hopefully, hopefully, I get some reading. The plan for today is to finish the Charlie Davis mystery I'm reading, which is book four. I think it's higher learning. I suck at titles, if you didn't know that. So, yeah, I'll catch you later. Hello again, it's like 4 p.m. and I'm finally starting to read for today, so great start to my Sunday. But um, on the plus side, I'll probably have a lot more time tomorrow and Tuesday to read, so I'm hoping I can compensate. I'm back to the Charlie Davis book I'm reading and I hope to be able to read for a couple of hours, so we'll see how that goes. Hello again, it's 6.30 p.m. and I'm about 60% through the... Charlie mystery book and it's been fun to read so far I've been laughing out loud which kind of dispelled my need to nap I guess um, I'm going to stop for for a few hours I'm going to head out for a bit and then I need to edit my vlog for today the writing vlog and then I'll pick this up again in the evening and I think I can actually finish this today which is pretty good I mean, I'm, I'm kind of behind, but, you know, we're getting there. So I was gone for less than two hours and I came back because I'm freaking white. I'm, I'm too tired to even think. Hi, Addis. Yeah. That's Addis, by the way. Um, I'm going to be posting two vlogs tomorrow because I, I just can't be... I, I can't manage to stay awake long enough to edit right now, so... Um, Look, books! <laughs> um, so I'm just going to change, take my makeup off and go back to reading and probably try to finish Claire's book before I pass out. And that's it. It's 8 o'clock and I'm going to bed. Awesome. Aris, should we go to bed? Should we just skip everything and go to bed? Yeah? Okay, it's a deal. So, it's 11 p.m. and I've just finished my Charlie Davis book. And, oh my god, Claire, that ending. I hate you. I, I absolutely hate you because now, instead of diving right back into the next book, like a normal person, I'm doing this readathon. So then I have to move to Riser by Becca Sismith. So, 
Uh, I'm going to go to bed though because it's late and I need to wake up at 8 tomorrow. So uh, that's it for today. It's the end of Sunday and I finished two books out of six. I'm doing okay. I'm not very confident I'll be able to finish all six books if it takes me one day to finish the shorter ones because Nikki's is like 600 pages plus but we'll see night I hope you've enjoyed this first author cube readathon vlog if you're doing the readathon and following the challenges please let me know in the comments down below i'd really appreciate it if you joined in even if it's late it's all in good fun and the whole purpose of this is to read more and put a dent into our tbrs so no pressure don't worry i will see you again on wednesday as promised with a new vlog on the author to read the ton journey so uh, until then do like this video if you've enjoyed it maybe comment down below and let me know your thoughts and how you're feeling so far in the readathon and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my youtube channel i will see you again very soon bye